Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, Super Mario 64. Uh, this is our... <laughs> this is our, uh, our, our real episode. Yeah, this is our mod pack. If you um, missed the blooper, I recommend you watch no, it. No, I don't. No? <laughs> it's, uh, it's the worst gameplay you've ever seen. Become an audio-only listener and listen to the blooper. It does have a... Uh, it does have like a star we got, like a few yeah. stars, so if you yeah, want uh, real content. There, there is lore, um, I wouldn't recommend it, it's like, just treat it like an audiobook. That's the best way to appreciate that particular yeah. episode, for sure. Uh, this gameplay will hopefully be a lot better, we have Millen playing to start us off. Oh, I did one more. You get a coin, your health is bothering me, and there's like 10 billion fucking points. Alright, I killed the piranha plants. <laughs> Good job. Um, we're in Throwback Galaxy. Yeah. <clears throat> in the blooper video, we talked about uh, Mario Odyssey and other random shit. Uh, all Switch games, all of which were disappointing to us for different reasons. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. The Switch library isn't looking too hot, I would say. I'm waiting on Breath of the Wild 2 to change that. I've that game is make or break for me. <laughs> like that's like the the final hope. <laughs> like if that game ends up being disappointing or bad even. Then I don't care about the console anymore. You're gonna sell your Switch? No, I'm gonna keep it. Oh, but okay. I'm not gonna have any more hope for anything oh, else okay. after that. <laughs> Ever again. You're just gonna run out of happiness. Yeah. <laughs> it just fades from your body. <laughs> Jesus. Because that game I'm hype as fuck for. I am looking forward to Breath of the Wild 2. Um, I, I mean, I'm kind of fucking myself by having high expectations for it, but... It's it, hard not to. It's the Zelda team, and they're making a sequel to Breath of the Wild. Like, how could I not have high expectations yeah, for it? Yeah, the game with infinite replay value. It's literally the Zelda team, so I, I gotta have hope. <laughs> one hit. <laughs> Seriously? No, because that's a fake one. This is the real oh, one. Oh, it's a fake one. Oh, they trick you. They do yeah. the tricky dicky. Yeah, yeah, As a kid, I'm like, this is so cool. <laughs> oh my they god. Changed it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I played Mario 64 as a kid, so this was like awesome. Yeah. I played the DS version of Mario, Kart, uh, Mario 64 as a kid. Not the original. Yeah, I played both. I, I had the. Well, I got the DS version later. I had the inferior experience at first. Oh, I, I didn't know he stuns you. But it's okay, because Mario 64 isn't even the best Mario game, so it's It's obviously Odyssey. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's... a lot of people would say that. A lot, a lot of people were wrong. Nice. Nice flip. Thank you. I'm Monkey. I'm excited for Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, I'm excited to be disappointed again and for it to show me down the fucking cloud for even getting excited in the first place. Hopefully, it's a game all about Tingle and nothing yeah. else. Yeah. That'd be fantastic. The, from what little trailers we got, it looks cool. I mean, it looks awesome. It yeah. looks like more of. It looks like the same graphically and everything, but it added islands in the sky, which you can't go wrong with. And no, I you can't go wrong with really? Islands in the Sky. Skyward Sword, dumbass. But that's not why that game was bad. Uh, that's true. <laughs> I wouldn't say that's the reason. Um, but uh, I don't know, I think that's cool. And there was a new ability I saw where like, Link went through like, a platform or something. Uh, I think that's just a rune upgrade. That's my theory. It's, I think okay. it's just going to be like runes, but they're better and they do more stuff now. Because it also showed him like reversing time, which I think is just going to be stasis, but better. Yeah. So... Yeah. Wubba. From the trailers, it looks good. It reminds me of, like, Majora's Mask, where it's, like, reused assets and everything, but completely different and, like, you know, more stuff. Hopefully a better story. Uh, <laughs> I don't think the Zelda team cared about story since Majora's Mask, so... Eh, well, actually, Twilight Princess tried with its story. Yeah. Yeah. I like that story. story. Twilight, yeah. That was, that was epic game. Never mind, then. I'll do one more because I like his, like his galaxy a lot. Yeah. May maybe the story will be good. Who knows? With the Zelda game. It won't be. Because, <laughs> uh. Iwata's gone. Wait, wait. <laughs> Everything at Nintendo is bad after Iwata's. Yeah, gone. that was the end of it. I'm pretty sure Breath of the Wild was the last release before Iwata's passing. 
No, Breath of the Wild came out after. Two years after. Two years after? Yeah. Okay. I always say Nintendo went downhill after uh, they got successful with the Switch. Because yes. then they became complacent. And everyone started sucking off their d dicks again. <laughs> so they don't have to try anymore. Because the Wii U, they had to try. They were struggling. Yeah. They had the strife that pushed him to greatness. And Iwata was there to use his, like, big brain moves. His hyper brain, his god tier <laughs> fucking <laughs> marketing strategies. His magic touch to, exactly. like, do everything correctly. What's, like, this called again? Oh, ew. <laughs> you kinda... hate Silver Stars? Whoops. That was an accident. Silver Stars are also in Mario 64 DS. Not sure why. It was, really was that their introduction? Useless. Yeah, I think it was. I think that was I think so, piece. yeah. Kind of a useless mechanic, if you ask me, but it's okay. We don't mind. Yeah, we forgive him. We forgive Iwata. <laughs> yeah. We forgive Iwata and no one else. Um... Oh, God. Speaking of companies going downhill, uh, Activision and Blizzard. Oh, yeah. That, that's got a wonderful story to it. It's old news by the time you're hearing it. By the time you're hearing it, considering it's this episode, it's probably going to be fucking three years since yeah. the news came out. I don't know. So, who are you guys doing well in 2025? Bro, you've missed one in the cloud. Really? Bro. Yes. Right there. Oh, right gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm, I'm too enthralled in the Activision conversation. <laughs> Uh, I think it started off with Blizzard being shitheads, like, and this was years ago, even now, with, like, tournaments and stuff. People were, like, going against China and, like, protesting against China and shit, and I think, like, their top player for a Blizzard game protested against China with others, because China is a shithole fucking country now. Um, absolute wreck, but we're not gonna get into that. Uh... Because it wasn't some like Hong Kong guy that was yeah protesting. some some Hong Kong guy who was also the top player and literally like mastered the skill of doing like this video game really well and like won a tournament and everything he did everything fantastically um, yeah he got fucked because Blizzard just never gave him his money and like revoked his right to like participate in Blizzard tournaments or whatever. And all this shit, just because Blizzard wanted to pander to the Chinese fucking government? They did, because they had to protect their money. Because China is a huge market for them. Yeah, but... So if they let this guy talk shit, then it hurts their bottom line. It's still scummy. <laughs> like, I mean, it is, but... Especially since the guy was, like, advocating for human rights, I'm pretty sure. That's so, true, like, but money is more powerful than... Than, uh, but yeah, but as a morality. company, you're committing like social suicide by outright admitting that like money is more important than human rights, which is what Blizzard technically did. So well, obviously, like, we figured that out later on. Even more. <laughs> but uh, yeah. like, I'm pretty sure Nintendo agrees that money is more important than human rights, but they don't say it. At least Blizzard, like, like Blizzard, like outright just fucking said that shit. They were like, yeah, no, you're not allowed to win money anymore. So it all, I think it all started going downhill with that, and then like the allegations started coming out from uh, Activision employees about like, uh, I don't think it got to rape, but I think it got to like serious like sexual harassment allegations, uh, and that's pluralized because there were a lot of, <laughs> pretty much if you were a woman, you walk into your first day of work and you would not walk out the same person. It was fucked. Absolutely fucked beyond belief. Good job saving yourself there, by the way. Thank you. Yo, the cutscene almost fucked you. <laughs> but yeah, apparently Activision was doing nothing to uh, help these poor women because... Uh, well, actually, I think some guys also got sexually harassed. I'm not all too sure. There were a lot of allegations. Too. I don't know all of them, but I just know it, the, <laughs> the workplace was just shit. Yeah, it all got mixed together in this clusterfuck of allegations. <laughs> and it's so bad. Um, yeah. I'm for, I, I feel bad for them. Uh, Activision, Blizzard, they're both terrible companies. Who yeah, so it doesn't did, end uh, here. Things. Uh, um, and... They got rewarded for all of it, kind of, technically, 
by getting paid how much was it? Seven seventy? It started with seven. It was like billion se- seventy dollars. billion dollars or something. <laughs> billion dollars by Microsoft to buy them out completely. Yeah, because they're they knew they were gonna go fucking jail. <laughs> or... Like I like I have no idea how that happened. Like how Microsoft thought that buying them was like a good move despite all like the things that they did <laughs> like well they want to they you think they want to change them i think no i don't think microsoft is altruistic at all i don't think they give a fuck about helping these workers or anything i think they did it because it was a great opportunity for them to absorb a massive fucking company that was going under or really really hurting for cheaper for than cheaper normal. than they normally would yeah they saw it as an opportunity for them not because they were feeling like, oh, I want to help. I feel so bad for you guys. Yeah, we'll, we'll save the poor people here. Let me play for a second. Okay. Yeah, like... So, yeah, I I, I have a huge thing. I don't really know if this is going to happen or not, but I think they're just trying to build up, like, a, this massive infrastructure of teams on their on their side for Game Pass, obviously. It's looking kind of sussy. It's looking like a Monopoly um, is going to happen. It's not ha- happened yet, but... It hasn't happened yet, but... It's very sussy <laughs> on Microsoft's part. Like, it, it, it I, I, here's my spec. Here's what I'm, my, my my big brain play. Yeah, I think it's gonna happen similar to what happened with Netflix. I think what's gonna happen is they're gonna buy all these companies, get all these, you know, all these people on their side, because everyone's sucking off Game Pass. Everyone's fucking jerking all over <laughs> it. They have so many sheep's within this Game Pass infrastructure. I see people online who constantly shit on Sony and Nintendo because they're behind the times, they're old dogs. <laughs> let, the micro- let the new guard take over and all this shit. Then once Microsoft has the dominant market, if this ever happens, um, they're gonna jack the price of Game Pass to the oh, fucking Oh, they're gonna fuck everyone. They're gonna, so everyone who bought into this Game Pass thinking, oh my God, the price is so good, the deal is killer. And then once everyone suckered in, they're gonna raise the price just like Netflix did. Remember, oh, remember, remember when Netflix? Remember when it was eight bucks a month for Netflix? Yeah. And everyone, I remember everyone up my ass was saying, "Oh, you gotta get into Netflix, but it's eight bucks a month. You get all this catalog." Isn't it twenty now? I don't know how much it is now, but it went through the fucking roof uh, from eight bucks a month um, because it got so many people suckered into it already. They're not gonna change. Now the difference is that Netflix does have competition. In that they have you know Hulu and these other fucking offshoots, uh, and, and you know Disney Plus or whatever. So I don't think it's going to be completely just a devastation, but I think people are going to be. I think that's what they're going to do or attempt to do. So you think they're going to be real scummy? Yeah. And just go all out in the subscription model and try to fuck everyone by yeah. <laughs> raising it to thirty dollars from like one dollar or something. I don't know. They have, that's what happened with Netflix to, to an extent. So yeah. I, don't, I don't know if we'll ever get to a point where Microsoft owns every like they're never gonna own everybody, obviously. And there are enough people who do care about God of War. And they they Spider-Man could and if if stuff. they really wanted to, they could pay and own everyone. Um, there is a limitation apparently that I've been told that that's legally not allowed. Like if Microsoft tried that shit, they would like yeah. get sued to oblivion. <laughs> yeah. So. That's not really gonna happen, but I don't. I, I really just think they're gonna sucker people in with this Game Pass thing over time. I hope they stay a good company because right now they're doing pretty good. Right now, I would argue like Xbox is nice. It's... I was already worried with the with the Bethesda purchase <laughs> because this stuff does not happen. These multi billion dollar corporations buying other multi-billion dollar corporations. Like, that's really rare. And when it does happen, it's like usually really shit. Because it usually makes the prices jack up for, like, things that were once relatively priced competitively. You know, I, I know like, they haven't really, um, I think jewelry. Or, no, the, someone told me there's, like, a, the glasses market for, like, these two massive glasses. People who make, like, eyeglasses. Yeah. These two corporations, they merge together. So like, you know, like Armani, all these fucking expensive brands. Oh, Italian and so consumers stopped having options, so yeah. they could just price it however they wanted. Yeah, because they got the two comp- competitors, right, they, right, they right. became one. Yeah. So there was no alternative anymore. Yeah, so that's what you're worried about. You're worried about um, like them just fucking you. Because where else are you going to get 
I don't know. What do they have? The new Crash, Crash game. Bandicoot. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot whatever. or like Call of Duty or whatever. On the other hand, Sony uh, owns Halo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they bought Bungie. <laughs> so, well, actually, I'm not entirely sure who owns Halo. Uh, Microsoft, because Halo isn't even made by Bungie. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. So Bungie I, I don't think they can actually make Halo. No, anymore. no. Well, Halo isn't going to be on PlayStation. But they they have the developers of, of Halo, yes. former Halo, which so is pretty they hilarious. make a Halo ripoff or um, something. And it was funny, that, that acquisition, people think that, that was a response to, like, Blit Activision, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I think that was response to Bethesda. Because uh, acquisitions, from what I've been told, takes a lot longer than than the time it's been since the Activision <laughs> thing. Oh. So I think this is like a delayed response yeah. from the last acquisition. <laughs> so someone's probably shitting their pants right now. <laughs> um, That's fine. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think it's good. And I think there's way... Maybe I'm a cynic, but I think there's way too many naive people that I've seen online. I hate to call him out because I like his videos, but Angry Joe Show, I think he's the biggest naive monkey um, <laughs> for the video he made regarding it. Because he just kept praising. He's like, oh my god, all these games in game. But like, he just he just saw the short end of the stick with it totally. He's like, oh my god, this is going to be great, man. Sony's so fucked, bro. And, uh, I don't know. I forgot the rest of what you said, but... I, I just think some people are way too... Going a little too easy on it. Um, but that's what Microsoft wants, I think. They want people to just not question it, you know? They want to they ease people into it. They don't want, you know... So they did Bethesda first, you know, starting out. I mean, that was still huge. That was still huge, right? But this is even bigger. Considerably bigger. Yeah. They went from, they went from um, a planet to a galaxy. My no, hopes no is that... Um... I actually don't mind the idea of Microsoft and others buying all these studios, to be honest, because it makes things simpler to keep track of, and that's a, a very selfish reason not to mind it. But, but if like the entirety of the video game market was controlled solely by Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony, like I wouldn't care. I'd be like, okay, that's fair. But the moment like, like if Microsoft tried buying Sony or something. And yeah. there was just two left. That's when I would be worried. That's when I would. Be oh, that'd be fucking. Bad. That'd be. <laughs> that'd be horrible. Yeah. That, Especially considering that Nintendo doesn't even consider themselves a competitor to either. Yeah. <laughs> they see themselves as totally different. That's true. Um, they're really not, but they are in some ways pretty. They have different audiences, somewhat. But uh, but if Microsoft and Sony just merged or something, uh, that would be that'd be really shit. Because yeah. then they could do whatever the fuck they want. Um. I forget what Nintendo considers themselves as. I think it's called like a blue ocean strategy or something like. I don't know, fuck the clue. They they <laughs> called it something in like a business meeting once that people were allowed to attend to, and it, like I think it's like red ocean, red ocean strategy, where like all your competitors are in the blue ocean, so you focus on the red ocean, and then you don't have to compete with anyone. It's stupid. I hate. That. Yeah. <laughs> I, it is too because like like it or not they are competing because they both sell video games. It's just one happens to be like oh we're E for everyone and then the other ones are we're not. E for everyone and more. So it's like it's not, it's, I, don't know, I don't know but that's a whole different story for bullshit. But uh yeah I don't know and oh yeah the thing I want to mention is people are like oh this is promoting competition because now Sony's going to retaliate and then they're going to start buying comp they're going to start buying companies and it's like I don't remember when this was ever considered competition to me it almost seems like avoiding it because to me competition is like you're, you're competing with your, the quality that you're producing yeah you're making better games than your competitor that's like, what it was if, back in the fourth gen if they were actually competing Microsoft wouldn't have bought Activision. They would have started making games similar to Activision and tried yeah. making them better. Exactly. That would be that's actually com that's com competition. That's compound competition. They just said, fuck the competition. I am the competition. Yeah, and then just bought it. They're trying to control the market instead of actually participating within it, really, for me. So I'm not a master economist or anything, but I'm just saying, I think, I don't know if this is going to be a good move overall. 
These are our predictions. Let's see if they'll be true by the time this video comes out. That's true. Out. This is going to be interesting for the future. Yeah. This maybe, is a nice little time capsule. Maybe I'm totally fucking wrong and people are going to laugh at me in the future and that's fine. That would be nice. Uh, I take <laughs> else. I'm okay with it. But, uh, yeah, nice little bow to our time capsule here. And uh, we'll see you guys next time on whatever we decide to do. Yeah.